Well guys, I hate to sound like Lil Wayne, but sorry for the wait. Adventure with Devices is back. Uh, got some exciting stuff going on. So we just got moved into our house, got everything settled, so now it's time to head back out and have some adventures. Um, this weekend though, we are going to Augusta, Missouri with some family, gonna try to have some adventures uh, down there, but on the way we actually found a place called Lake Sarah in Effingham, Illinois. There's some geocaches here as well as some trails, and it is a beautiful day outside. And this is what we've been missing, guys. So stick with us and we'll try to make some more amazing content. So peace out. Sorry for the wait. Well, guys, in case you're ever hungry, it looks like Lake Sarah has got an abundance of wild blackberries. Just in case you need a little snack along your nature journeys. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I actually saw some when we walked in and then we're walking on this trail right now and found some more. So, Kels is doing her thing. I think I'm going to have me a little snack and we'll get back to you. Alright, that was delicious. So we're heading to our first geocache. Looks like we're going to be taking Hunter Barnes Memorial Trail. I don't know who he is. Um, I don't know if Barnes is just a name or if he's a guy who was a hunter and had Barnes. There's really no way to tell. What's this? Bluebird. The flash of bright... Uh, I'm not going to read all that, but it looks like there's some bluebirds here. And actually, so when I was a young kid in 4-H, we did a project where we made bluebird boxes. And if you look way up there, I know from doing the project that is a bluebird box. So it looks like here at Lake Sarah they're actually trying to increase the bluebird population which I also know is um, at least a few years ago was dwindling in Illinois so hopefully it looks like they're trying to do a good job hopefully the bluebirds have come back and started to thrive but this is just a beautiful park the lake looked pretty cool when we were coming in too. Maybe we'll try to get some shots of that, but beautiful park. Looks like we are um, 130 feet away from the geocache. So once we get up in the area, we'll holler back at you guys, but beautiful day. Glad to be back. So guys, uh, this is a beautiful trail, um, definitely had me distracted. There's little informational signs along the trail and I just totally got distracted and we actually passed where the geocache is by 37 feet. So now we're going to go back this way, see if we can find this bad boy and hopefully it's big, big enough to hide a rock in because we've never really been over to this area. Okay, so now we're 12 feet away, I'm just kind of looking around. And my geosenses are kind of telling me it might be in that stump right over there. So we're going to go take a look in this stump. There's also a fallen down tree back there. Could be in there. Hopefully it's like an ammo can or something. Oh, my geosenses were so correct. Only problem is there's a spider web. So I'm going to find me a stick real quick. Oh, there it is. And I promise I did not look at that before we turned the camera on. I just, my geo senses must be on today. Looks like a bigger size pill bottle or something maybe. So probably is big enough to hide a rock in. There she is. She was hidden right down in there. You want me to hold the phone? Yes, ma'am. So we'll see if there's any good swag in here. See what we got. Okay, we do have a wet log, so we'll have to record that. Oh, you that. just dropped a penny. Okay, I see it. Looks like there's nothing but pennies and a little pig figurine in here. So if you happen to like pig figurines, this is a good place to go. Um, we are going to hide a rock in here. So, oops. Didn't put the log back in there. Set this stuff down for a second. Don't worry, we'll probably cut this boring part out where I'm trying to find the rock, but <laughs> we just like to keep it rolling. Now we do apologize, we meant to um, get some new quotes for our rock, haven't got to that yet. We've been busy with the move as I stated before, um, but there's still a lot of good rocks to choose from. A place like this, it's awfully pretty, awfully pretty here found a rock that I like a lot that my beautiful wife painted and I'm gonna get it out show you guys and then we'll place it 
And again, guys, if anybody happens to be in this area and finds our rock, please post it to our page, Geocache Rockers. On Facebook. On Facebook. Oh no, the little thing stuck to the... Uh-oh, technical difficulties. Oh, it's stuck to the... Oh no! <laughs> oh, look. So it's a cat, but our... Um... That's a dog. Okay, it's a dog, it's got a collar, <laughs> who knows. Our paper, some of it stuck to the rock, but that's okay. The quote is, best view comes after the hardest climb, and then it has our geocache rockers information. If you happen to be the person who finds this, please repost it, keep it, rehide it, whatever you want. Just hopefully it brings a smile to your face and brightens your day a little. So I think there's two more in this location and then we're going to hit the road and just, you know, see where the good vibes take us. So again, glad to be back and thanks for tuning in. Peace out. So guys, there's a couple more in this area. That was a real nice cache. Wanted to walk over here and kind of show you guys just a little bit of the lake. Hopefully you can see some of it. Looks like there's a nice little channel over here. Nice little channel over here. Looks like a fairly big lake. Very well kept. I was really surprised to see all those wild blackberries just right as soon as you walked in. Just an amazing, amazing place. I definitely recommend it. What I love about nature too is like, so much done, you know. Kelly's, Kelly's over there doing her thing. She loves nature photos. Even this moss on the ground is just beautiful. But yeah, you can see a little bit of the lake. That's just a little channel there. Oh, we got some waves. Getting a little wavy. Oh, I see a guy on his boat out here, let's see. Oh, they're doing some uh, tubing over there. If I can figure out the zoom. Yeah, there they are. Boy, they're having a good time. That's what it's all about, guys. Let's get outdoors, have some fun. So much better than chilling inside and not doing anything cool but uh anyway I just wanted to show you a little bit more that was kind of a quick one it was towards the beginning of the trail but from what we've seen here this is a beautiful park um, the other caches we're gonna hit are also part of this park but I guess they're kind of driving distance so we're gonna hop back in the whip and hit the next one guys so we'll be right back peace out guys so we found another geocache location um, this one's called Sarah's treasure um, we're still at Lake Sarah in Effingham Illinois um, this is actually a kayak canoe launch site so we're gonna take this trail back um, about 330 feet and we're gonna see if we can find this one so good vibes mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can see but we just found uh, Two little butterfly friends. They're just hanging out. Just flapping around, hanging out. We're almost to the good old geocache, but we had to stop and just admire beautiful little butterflies. Oh, I lost them. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're gone. If you look up here too, there's like this little circle area that like is off from the lake. I thought that was kind of interesting, but we're gonna see what we can find when we get down here. Okay, we're about 73 feet away. Kells is leading the way. Now, I have noticed we've walked through a lot of spider webs on this, so you might wanna bring you a walking stick, kinda of swing it out in front of you like you're like a Jedi or something for this one. We didn't, we just walked right through it. We're bosses what? like that. Oh, never mind. whoa, that's a big one. I don't know if you can, yeah, see him, he's just swinging right there. Yeah, we definitely need to like get a stick or something. <laughs> Here we go. A real stick, not a fake one. Here we go. There's a stick. Yep. I'm gonna save the day. I'm gonna save the day. I'm going to save the day. I'm going to save the day. You can pass. Yay! So this, is what, this is what I meant by Jedi. You kind of just want to 
walk through, just swing it. Which way we gotta go? Ah! Sorry, spiders. I don't want to destroy your habitat, but this geocache is more important. Go make a new one. Okay. It says it should be right in here. It says we're like literally on top of it, plus or minus 17 feet. Okay, so why don't we look around the area real quick? See some trees. Um, kind of see a couple things. What's your geosense is telling you, Kels? tree yeah it hasn't been found since 2021 so there's that till today <laughs> do you want the stick do you want the stick hmm. yeah I definitely would probably go with somewhere over here by this tree Hasn't been found since 2020. That's a little worrisome. 2021. Oh, that's not as bad. I'm trying to look down in here. Let's see if I can pull the flashlight out on my phone. So I would not be surprised if it was like down in there or something. I don't know if you guys can see that little area down in there. Damn, is my flashlight working or what? There we go. Okay. No, looks like you can see all the way through that. I'm gonna look from the other end though. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing it down in there. So that's not where it is. So you said it's in this area for sure. Hmm. Sometimes GPS can be a little off. I think we've mentioned that before. But, oh boy. I need to stick to spider webs everywhere. Is it with these spiders thinking they can just interrupt our geocaches? Had it. Had it with them. Okay. Get out of here, spiders. Well, we didn't look over here towards this end of the down tree. Definitely could be like more over here somewhere. Don't understand what, baby. What did it say? Follow the tree in the V between the lake and the cache, and you'll be with a few yards of Sarah's treasure. Hold on. Let me come back over here to square one. The tree in the V? Yeah. As in vice? Yeah. Okay. Definitely don't see a tree in a V anywhere. Where does the GPS say zero? It's about 19 feet that way. This right here says I'm right on top of it. Okay. Three feet. Tree in the V. So the only thing I see that looks like an upside down V is right over there. So why don't we head that way? Still gotta get my stick going. Get my stick going. Tree in the V. Okay. It says tree in the V between the lake and the tree in the V. Gosh, there's just spider webs everywhere down here. This is crazy. 
Hmm. I'm not seeing anything down here. It has to be in here somewhere. See, you wouldn't think they'd put it down there that close to the lake. Just in case it floods or something, you know. My gosh, there are just spider webs everywhere. I know I've said that several times, but I just don't think you guys understand. This dead one right here? No, the, the standing one. Do they hold the base of it? No. Oh, okay, I see. I'm gonna walk back this way where we've already gotten the spider webs down, though. See, now it says we're 27 feet away. See, I was kind of looking more over here. Okay, I guess I don't see the tree that you're talking about. It's literally the one that you're standing right next to. This one here? Yeah, that's, that's where I was looking. Yeah, but it just doesn't... So I think something on the website said that it was a homemade container. It was made of PVC pipe. Like a four inch PVC pipe, but it's camouflaged. So yeah, it could really just be anywhere. Hmm. Well, this is not going as planned, guys. Man, I really thought it was like inside that tree, though. So wait, if it's a four inch camouflaged PVC pipe, it could just look like a dead log laying on the ground, right? Maybe we should take a closer look at some of these dead logs. Well guys, I hate to keep you waiting. We're gonna do some more looking and then we'll check back with you. Well guys, we got a DNF. We looked for a while. We thought the GPS might be off, so we went 50 yards in every direction. No luck, so there's one more in this area. We're gonna go try that one, hopefully end it on a, on a good note.